In this tutorial, you're going to create a believable lie by incorporating type as a design element within a composition that has a background, a middle ground, and a foreground. And you'll also use uh, layer mask techniques as well. So start off with an idea. And my example is um, having my son Luke lay on the, on the couch with his hands looking like they're holding something. I moved him. I had him move and I had him pose to get another picture of him looking like he is holding something. So the end result will be this. So he's in one spot, he's in the other, another spot, and then you have the type in between. So what you're going to do is create a document 5x7 by, by 300 or 8x10 by, by 300. You're going to take both images and you're going to combine them on one composition. So you have the background image already, and now this is going to be my foreground image. My suggestion is to uh, transform it to size however you want. Take the opacity of the layer down and then use a layer mask to mask out everything. I'm going to refer back to this uh, little note on the, on the wall and this little orange thing under the couch. But for right now, I'm not worried about all the little enhancements. I'm looking for the idea. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pick a type. I'm saying stay safe and healthy. Uh, control T after you play around with the type. Um, make it bigger or smaller. What you can do is don't forget um, you could change the characteristics of the type itself. What you could do is um, don't forget about kerning. So if I'm on my type, I have the type tool activated. Look at all my options up here. Don't forget to uh, emphasize, click on this little icon here. I'm not working with a paragraph, I'm working with characters. If you want your font closer or further apart from each other, I could do that. I could play around with the vertical, horizontal, make them closer, that's way too close. Um, my font was 60, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller there. And let's say I like it, I'm really happy. What then I could do then is I have to take my type and then I have to rasterize it. So you're gonna to go to type, rasterize, type layer. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to, to edit, uh, to layer mask the, uh, the type. So I have it here already. So after I layer masked it, I then put, um, I'm sorry, after I rasterize it, I then add a layer mask. And then if I zoom in, you could see where I've already layer masked the hands and the fingers to look like they're in front of and behind. Um, and then what's kind of cool is if you want to give it some special effects, you could double click on it and then the layer styles open, opens up and you could put a pattern in it, you could bevel and emboss it, you could put a stroke on it. Um, I played around with the pattern overlay and with Photoshop, don't forget, you have so much flexibility with what you do. Don't just go with the presets. So I not only activate it, but then I go to it and then I could change the, the um, what the image is going to be. I could click on the pattern. I could give it a, a grass feel, a water feel. Um, I, I like the water feel here. I'm going to say OK. So I have the type in between. I have, uh, there's depth to it because I put the fingers in front of it and behind it. So that's what I'm looking for. Have a background, middle ground, and a foreground with the type in between. And then I noticed down here we have uh, something orange. So what you could do is um, you could cover it up. You could copy, paste, or stamp it or healing it, heel brush it. I, then I have this uh, green paper on the wall. I could get rid of that as well. Oh, and then this really bugged me here. If I zoom in, this is actually the, the, what the couch looks like. The sun's coming in through the window, but I covered it just to uh, make it more not as distracting. And then what I would do is I would then crop it 
I have this up here, I have white here. I would then crop it again uh, to make it a little bit more pleasing. And then this is the end result. So if you have any questions, feel, feel free to um, email me or use the Remind app. And don't forget, do all the little tweaks within the composition to make it more believable.